Hey guys, welcome to these foreign streams. This is episode six. We'd like that. We're happy to have you guys back. Um, and thank you for joining us. Today I am going to be, my name is Elizabeth Turner, sorry. And we're, Alan Thompson's going to be playing for you. Today we are going to be making some porch sipping and drinking drinks. Um, basically some liquid summer drinks for you guys. Along with some awesome songs by Alan Thompson like I said before. The first drink we're going to start off with today is going to be kind of like a bourbon peach smash. Uh, this is something really easy. We're in peach season now. I'm trying to try to use fruits that are coming out now. Um, strawberries, peaches, all kinds of berries kind of thing. First thing we're going to use for the peach snack smash is we're going to obviously need a little bit of peach. So I recommend putting in about a quarter of a peach. We go ahead and slice it up, slice it up into like eighths. If you make it into thin slices, it's going to be a little bit easier to macerate with a muddler. So you put some of your peach at the bottom. And then we're going to add in our local brand, the Pennington's uh, Peach Apricot Whiskey. You're going to be doing two ounces of that. Now, if you don't have the Pennington's Peach Whiskey at home, you can always use any of your whiskeys, I would just do an ounce and a half of regular whiskey, your favorite whiskey, and then I would do a half ounce of peach schnapps. And that works too. It's just gonna amp up that peachiness in the drink. Okay? And then we're gonna add in three to four shakes of Angostura bitters, because I think bitters always make things a little bit better. And don't be scared when you go to shake it in, like really, not a drop, like shake it. Last but not least, we're gonna add in some lemon. I'm gonna squeeze that. You can use lemon juice too. The concentrate always tends to be a little bit stronger if you don't have lemon at home. Um, you can use orange juice, just double it up because orange isn't as bitter. Okay, add some ice. and shake. When you go to shake, you want to put your elbows into it because that's going to help break up the peach a little bit. If you want to go ahead and use your blender and make a peach puree before because after a few of these cocktails, you're going to be feeling it, it'll make it easier for you in the end. Get a, go ahead and get a new glass. A rocks glass, double rocks glass here, and we're gonna go strain into the glass. Should add the ice first. Sorry guys, I'm a little nervous. There you go. So this is gonna be our bourbon peach smash. Nice refreshing cocktail you can drink out on the porch. So if you guys are trying to set up your home bar and everything and you're like, I don't know what to get, Liz, like there's so many things. The two bitters that you should always have at home, in my opinion, and I would say in probably Alan's opinion too, would be uh, the Angostura bitters and Peychard's. Most cocktails, you can get away with either one of these bitters. It's a good idea to just have it at home. They won't really go bad. If you're worried about it, just get the smaller bottles. Now, we're gonna make Alan's cocktail, which is gonna be a twist on a Sazerac. We're not talking about Sazerac the liquor, we're talking about Sazerac the cocktail. Kind of a pre-prohibition cocktail. We're gonna go ahead and put ice in our cocktail glass, soda water. That way it starts to chill the glass for you. And just put that to the side. And then we're gonna go ahead and start mixing our, our cocktail here. 
Now today we are sponsored by a Bliss CBD again. They are a great company. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with CBD, it's basically a active ingredient in hemp. It's not like THC. It doesn't get you high. It just has a lot of beneficial effects like it helps with hangovers, it helps with arthritis, it helps with muscles, all kinds of things. So naturally goes really well with our cocktails. So we're going to use about two bar spoons of our honey from a bliss. It's going to be the bees farm honey CBD. And you're going to do like a 50 50 ratio of water to honey. That way it's emulsified enough to go in your cocktail. And then we're going to add some of our Felmy bourbon, two ounces. A couple shakes of Peychard's bitters. And we're going to ice it. With a cocktail like this, you want to stir. Anytime it's going to be mostly liquor ingredients, you're going to stir the cocktail. If it's citrus, you always want to kind of shake. Everyone has their opinions on this. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying for like taste-wise, it'll make it taste better. I'm going to go ahead and throw out our soda water and the ice. And the kick, the difference between this and a regular Sazerac is that a regular Sazerac would have a... Um, anise or absinthe rinse. With this, we're going to be doing a chartreuse rinse. So go ahead and do like half an ounce. Kind of swirl it around. If it's too much for you, you can always pour it out. I don't like wasting alcohol, so it's going to stay in there, guys. And then we're going to just strain this. We're going to use this kind of strainer. Since there's no citrus, you don't need the other one to catch the pulp. Oh, and last but not least, a lemon twist. Where did I put my lemons? Just use a peeler for this. It's going to be a lot easier. Rim the glass with the white part, the pit. Squeeze a little bit so it gets in there and then twist. And you're done. This is a Sazerac by Alan Thompson with Chartreuse. We're gonna go ahead and take it to him and he's gonna bring you guys some awesome music. Thank you, Liz. Nice. Hell yeah. Well, partly because I'm lazy, and partly because I was already wearing this black shirt, and partly because I think it's important that you hear it. I decided that instead of playing Lady Count songs or Alan Thompson songs, I will devote this whole night to songs by Robert Hunter and Jerry Garcia. So I hope you enjoy. <laughs> If you got nothing new to say If you please don't back up the tracks This train's bound to run today I spent a little 
little time on the mountain, spent a little time on the hill. Heard some say, better run away. Others say, you better stand still. Now, I don't know, but I've been told it's hard to run with the weight of gold. Other hand, I heard it said, it's just as hard with the weight of lead. change of style one step done and another begun and I wonder how many miles I spent a little time on the mountain spent a little time on the hill I saw things getting out of hand I guess they always will I don't know, but I've been told If the horse don't pull, you gotta carry his load I don't know whose back's that strong Maybe find out before too long to ride It's got no signs, no dividing lines, very few rules to grind I spent a little time on the mountain Spent a little time on the hill I saw things I don't understand but I hope in time we will dark and the hours so late
Sorry, we had a little bit of technical difficulties. I'm going to name my next band Alan Thompson and the Technical Difficulties, I think, because we definitely have enough for that to be a thing. <laughs>
but them people don't care that a man can be as poor as me take a look at poor Peter he's died guys welcome back we're still getting the hang of things here very casual as if you've ever been in D's you know how we run it <laughs> we are not we are an organized mess it's great <laughs> so the next cocktails I want to make for you guys again I'm trying to stay on the theme of drinks that you can drink on the porch in the hot summer because it's starting to get nice outside um, I know we've all been quarantined I'm literally looking at like every piece on my land and being like, can I set up sunbathing over there? How many trees do I have to cut down? Like, what bodies of water are near us that aren't too crowded? Why are humans out during the week? Only bartenders and service industry should be <laughs> kind of going through that whole process. So um, these are things you can drink at home that are pretty easy to make. Uh, next drink I'm going to make for you guys is a brass monkey. Um, the drink came before the Beastie Boys songs, just so you guys know. It's gonna be a really simple drink. All you need is vodka, dark rum, and OJ. So again, usually you can use your Boston shaker so you guys can see what I'm putting into the glass. I'm going ahead and using a pint glass in the bottom of a Boston shaker. We're gonna add in equal parts of vodka and rum. We're gonna use our Gosling's dark rum and our pickers, which is again, a local vodka to do it. So we're gonna do um, two ounces or one ounce of each. So two ounces total. So you guys can always use jiggers. Doesn't matter. like. Add in another ounce of orange juice. And then all you do, ice and shake. Don't be afraid to put some elbow grease in here. because then it creates that nice little frothy top. Now, at these, we serve our drinks dirty with the ice. You can always put in fresh ice. But if you're at home, there's no need. Just pour it in. I've been doing this for a while. And this is going to be your brass monkey. You can serve it with an orange wedge. Nice tasty rum vodka drink. Over there. Our next cocktail we're going to be doing is going to be a stra strawberry cucumber lemon um, fizz. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a pint glass. You wanna throw in about two strawberries 
It's way easier to muddle if you chop your stuff up, dice it up. Like I said before, you can always blend it too. Two. Get our muddler out. We're gonna add in some of our honey simple. Just a splash because the Bliss Strawberry Mojito that we're gonna be using has a little bit of sugar in it, so you don't really need to add a lot, unless you prefer your drinks a little bit sweeter. Honey pairs perfectly with strawberries. You can always use regular sugar, but then it doesn't have the CBD, so. Muddle it a little bit. Then we're gonna add in our the cucumber part, which is gonna be our pearl vodka. It's a cucumber vodka. Nice, light, and refreshing. Two ounces of that. Add some ice. This is a drink that we're gonna be building in the glass. And then last but not least, top it off with our Bliss Strawberry Mojito. Naturally infused sparkling. These things are great because the CBD is emulsified already. So it mixes in really well. You're not gonna have the oil just floating at the top. It's gonna be mixed into the whole cocktail. And like I said, it helps with a lot of things CBD does. It doesn't have the psychoactive ingredients that THC does, but it helps more with the medicinal purposes like arthritis, if you have problems sleeping, if you, for a hangover the next morning. Just top it off with that and stir. It's gonna be a nice light uh, spritzer or fizz. Um, again, with our Bliss CBD. Try that. Oh yeah, and this is something you can definitely drink on the porch, by the pool, whatever. It's gonna taste good. It's gonna make you feel good. That's to the side. Um, other than that, we have a special, today's an actual special day for us here at Bees. It's Amy and Daniel's anniversary. So happy anniversary to you guys. We love you. It's their first wedding anniversary. Amy is our HBIC, the big boss, boss lady. HBIC. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I won't, I'll head be in charge basically. Um, she is awesome. We love Amy and Daniel. They take care of us. They're bosses, but friends. A lot of, we're a small bar. We have a few bartenders that work here, but they always seem to take care of us. We're, we're family for sure. We're family. Yeah, definitely. Like at no point during this whole craziness that's happening around us, have I been extremely worried? Now, obviously everyone has their anxieties, but, um, They've been, managed to take care of us really well, and we want to thank you guys and also wish you a happy wedding anniversary because God knows that you guys are supposed to be in Puerto Rico right now, but hopefully you're enjoying it here too. And with that said, here is Alan Thompson, guys, with another round of music for you guys. Got it from the top Nothing they can stop Don't you know they make a fine connection They love each other Lord, you can see that it's true 
Lord, you can see that it's true. Lord, you can see that it's true. He can pass his time round some other line. Don't you know he chose this place beside her? Don't get in their way. Nothing you can say. Nothing that you need to add or do. They love each other. Lord, you can see that it's true. Lord, you can see that it's true. Lord, you can see it is true. Nothing they explain It's like a diesel train Better not be there when it rolls over When that train rolls in Don't know where it's been you got to try and see just a little bit further. They love each other. Lord, you can see that it's true. Lord, you can see that it's true. You can say it's true, Lord, Lord, you can see that it is true. Happy anniversary, Amy and Daniel. I love you both so much. the can demands in town come on boys and gamble roll those laughing bones 
Seven come, eleven boys. I'll take your money home. Look out, look out, the candy man. Here he comes, and he's gone again. Got no friends till the candy man comes round again. I come in from Memphis where I, I learned to talk the job. When I get back to Memphis, be one less man alive. Good morning, Mr. Benson. I see you're doing well. If I Look out, look out the key. 
got no friends till the candy man comes around again. <laughs> Literally every when I first started working here, I started working here a few years ago. Um, I swear to God, Amy just hired me because she was like, "You kind of look like me. You kind of have my attitude. You hired so that it would confuse people and they'd be like, oh, Amy's here all the time.' It's like, it worked. It yeah, it was like yeah, everyone's yeah, like, is that works. Amy? Is that Liz? Is she? What's going on here? Which I take it as a compliment because Amy is awesome and she's gorgeous and she's like I said she takes charge all right so moving on back to our cocktails the last two cocktails I'm gonna make you guys um, are probably the simplest ones because I figure as we go through this stream people are gonna be drinking and kind of not paying attention as much or I'm drinking and I'm not wanting to make all these men so the next thing I'm gonna be doing is a pineapple Moscow mule now, Moscow mules are, ten, are usually made in a uh, copper mug. We don't have any because we're not fancy like that. So we're just gonna be using a regular uh, rock, double rocks glass. So for a pineapple mule, we're just gonna be doing, over ice. Go ahead and fill your glass up with the ice. We're not going to be shaking this one, so it's fine. We're going to do an ounce and a half of the Pickers Vodka. An ounce of pineapple juice. Make sure you always shake your pineapple juice first because it's one of those that likes to separate. And then we're going to top it off with our... A Bliss, again, CBD infusion. It's gonna be their lemon ginger. They do a really great job of, their mixers are amazing. Like you really don't need anything else to go with it. Um, so if you're out on the lake or you're at home and you're just like, I don't wanna deal with all that mess. Mm. A Bliss has great products. Um, so we're gonna just top this off with a little bit of their lemon ginger A Bliss CBD. This has also lemon in it, so that's why I'm not going to be adding in any lime to our cocktail. We're just going to garnish it with a lemon. Make sure you stir it a little bit. And that's it. You got your Bliss Pineapple Moscow Mule. Next, we want to end off the night the right way with some shots, right? Cause I yeah. feel like that's everyone's like go to before they sure. before they leave. It's like, why are you gonna no? Don't drink a shot before you leave. But that's everyone's go to because they're going home. So I'm gonna go ahead and make two. This is one of Alan's shots that he always like more out of her net. This which we are. This is what we go to make. We're gonna do short <laughs> truth and tequila for our tequila. We're gonna be using our Escalon. Escalon Blanco. And you're just gonna do, um, some people like to do even one to one, but I prefer like two to one, two parts tequila to one part of the chartreuse because it tends to be a little bit sweet. It has a little bit of that tang, has a lot of herb. So we're gonna do two to one of these, so. And these are some heavy shots, so that's it. Nice, easy tequila shots. Gonna go ahead and take this to Alan, and that's it for for me, guys. Thank you for joining us again. Happy anniversary to Amy and Daniel, and here's Alan. This is the best live stream I've done. Gracias. Oh.
Oh boy. Ah, oh, all right. Yeah, I ride on that mail train, mama. Can't buy a thrill. Stepping up on that mama. Leaning on your windowsill. Honey, if I die on top of the hill, might not make it. You know, my baby. Yeah, don't that moon look good, mama? Sitting down through the trees. Yeah, don't that break man look good now? Flagging down the double E. When she's coming after me Honey, that winter time is coming The windows are filled with frost I try to tell everybody But I could not get across Bob Dylan song. <clears throat> but I'll do one more for Jerry and then I'm going to call it a night.
in the window Come in.
and we bid you good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, y'all. I love you so much.